What's up everyone welcome back to another video and in this one we're gonna be going over the best 15 apps for your Fitbit Sense. We have researched and tested many apps from one type to another and in this video we have reviewed the best ones just for you. Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first up, we're going to have Find My Phone. Fitbit is a little late to launch the Find My Phone app, and the app is always part of the Apple Watch, Galaxy Watch, Fossil Gen, and many other watches. The app will help you to find out where you put your paired smartphone, and many times we do forget where we have kept the phones, so in that case, this app will help you out a lot. Then we're going to have SPO2 Tracker, and it is one of the most lovable apps in the Fitbit gallery. With the launch of new watches, Fitbit has introduced its new SPO2 tracker app, previously on Fitbit Versa 2 and other devices. Users have to go to the sleep section to see the results and now users can enable it with SPO2 tracker. Then we're gonna have Flipboard and this is one of the best content reading apps on your wrist and Flipboard is an always a curated forum for highly trending or other important news. You can select your favorite categories to get the latest news and reviews. The feeling to read the articles will not be the same as you read them on smartphones or tablets because this is a square size watch, but still it's good enough on the go. Then we're going to have Maps, and you can use the new Maps app on the smartwatches to get the current location. The app is powered by Here Maps, and it takes an internet connection to load the titles. You can use your fingers to pan, zoom in, or zoom out. Display the current location and other shortcuts. To get the current location, just give the location access on your phone and smartwatch as well. Then we're going to have Uber, and Fitbit has launched an Uber app for all premium watches, and it is not the official app or doesn't have any official statement about when the official version will launch. In the meantime, you can use Fitbit's creation of the Uber by Fit. It features the rides, the fare price, location, estimated arrival time, and driver details. I think it is all user wants from the app. For more functions, you can open it on the smartphone, but in the hurry, you can book a taxi from the wrist. Then we're going to have C25K Trainer. And this is one such an app that helps you keep motivated. It is an 8-week program to lead a healthy life, and it will guide you in your daily running and walking activities throughout the day. It also challenges you to build strength and also stamina. Then on spot number 7 we have Pandora and you can listen to your favorite songs and podcasts on the Fitbit watches. Currently it is available in limited countries but soon it will enter other markets. To listen to music you have to subscribe to Pandora and then you can enjoy it. It does require a paid subscription for ad free and offline music playing options. Then we have My Agenda and this is another official app that is helpful in everyday tasks. The Warehouse and App Store has an official Microsoft Outlook app to save the upcoming events and work on them. But the Fitbit Gallery doesn't have an Outlook app, but the official team has launched the Fitbit Agenda app, and it lets you pin the upcoming events, get alerts, see descriptions, and set other important dates. Then we're going to have Peck Solitaire, and this is a game for your watch and I do consider it to be a fun game that helps you pass the time. If you're maybe waiting for a meeting or in a road trip where you can't access to your phone, this game on the watch makes a big difference. Then we're going to have Yelp, and Yelp is a very well known by giving you great information about attractions or restaurants in your area. You will get the reviews from other users on the app to help you pick the best choice of place to go or eat. If you're traveling, this is definitely a must. Then we have Starbucks card and if you need to get your Starbucks coffee fix every morning, one of the best Fitbit apps for you is undoubtedly the Starbucks app. This is very convenient because you don't have to worry about carrying your wallet on your phone or if you just buy coffee before or after your morning run. Just scan your Fitbit instead and you are good to go. It is not as impressive as barcode since you can only use it for one coffee shop chain, but if Starbucks is your favorite, you can't go wrong with it. Then we have Infinity Fit, 
and this is a limitless training program that offers short and intensive training sessions to add to your fitness goal while being fast and also sustainable. I do think it works for sports and nature enthusiasts, and it doesn't require any contract or subscription, so that is a plus. Then we have water lock, and staying healthy is more than just counting steps and calories. One of the most important things for your health and your skin is staying hydrated, especially if you're active throughout the majority of the day. And this is why you should download Water Locked. This handy app allows you to keep track of your water intake with daily goals. Then we're going to have barcodes that we did mention before. And in addition to a barcode scanner, the app allows you to store any card or product with a barcode. And this allows you to have access to it whenever you want, from membership cards to starboard cards as well. Then lastly, we're going to have Toothbrushy, and this is a simplistic timer for brushing your teeth. While motivating you to complete two minutes of brushing, it can also remind you of when you started using a particular brush, and a toothbrush that has been used numerous times or older than three months will show a replace suggestion. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.